I'm Karen Molinas, Natural Resources Division Chief for Calvert County Government. The following is a micro documentary about challenges affecting Flag Ponds Nature Park. Flag Ponds Nature Park is a public recreational area in Calvert County, Maryland that provides passive recreation to more than 40,000 people a year. For 30 years, local students have participated in field trips in the park. Known for freshwater ponds accessible by boardwalks, year-round hiking trails, and a popular spot to hunt for shark's teeth and fossils. Flag Ponds is a historical, recreational, and ecological asset to the entire Chesapeake Bay region. But Flag Ponds Nature Park is in trouble. The shoreline is eroding at rates exceeding six feet a year, threatening the delicate ecosystem of the park, destroying the freshwater, aquatic, and wetland ecosystems. Without swift action from our community, erosion from coastal flooding will destroy the adjacent wetlands, public beaches, and continue damaging private property within the Long Beach community. I've been a homeowner here in Long Beach since 2006, and a board member of the Long Beach Community Association for the last five years. When we purchased this house in 2006, it had everything that we wanted. Access to a beach, beautiful view, great neighbors, everything you'd like. But within one year, we realized we had a problem. The shoreline that we used to be able to jump over the rocks and get to had eroded by six feet. Uh, I grew up down here. Uh, when I was down here in the 60s, the place that we're sitting used to be a turnaround for cars. You could actually go around in a circle. You could park out on the beach, and there was a, probably an additional 150 feet of shoreline from the existing shoreline out to where we were. Uh, it was a very nice place. You could park. You could get a lot of cars down here, and now due to the erosion, uh, the shoreline has moved back considerably several hundred feet. When we were kids, we used to walk down here um, sometimes to, you know, grab a smoke when we weren't supposed to. Both my parents originally came from Virginia and um, developed the community known as, as Long Beach. He also um, dredged Flag Harbor back in the days when you could do things like that. So we proposed to go out and dredge a channel in from offshore from about six foot deep down to the shoreline take the sand that we're dredging out and put it on the shoreline, that's going to save us about $70,000. So our plan is then after this is to do phase two, which is another 2,000 feet of shoreline protection, because what we want to do is to protect the ponds that are down there so that they don't break open a breach and go into the Chesapeake Bay. Basically, it wouldn't be flag ponds anymore. It would be flag pond. We've watched all kinds of development. The beach actually just came all the way down and there were sandbars that went out so much farther that as kids we used to, we could walk all the way in the water, offshore, finding shark's teeth, whatever, even in the water, and it never got over our knees. When Karen Molinas took her new role, she literally had knocked on my household door within six months of her job and said, I'd like to talk to you about this. And after that, with somebody pushing behind it, we started to make some momentum. Flag Ponds is a great resource, not only for our community, but for the county at whole. This area is more fun than you can imagine. It's a great community, the neighbors are friendly, and most importantly, it's very welcoming to the entire county. That being said, looking back now at this, at this erosion, we've now lost roughly 70 feet since we first moved in. The beach itself is a constant joy. I feel like I'm one of the fortunate ones to have grown up here and still live here. Flag Ponds itself is a wonderful resource and something that I would hope can be reestablished. The bay, there's nothing like the Chesapeake Bay anywhere.